What's good, YouTube? Oh, we're back at it with another fucking podcast. Uh, Got Juniper and Ethan here with us, obviously, always. Good. Good. Hi. Tunnel, tunnel snakes roll. All right. Well, I'm definitely gonna be starting off. So I'm gonna be looking this way, YouTube and Twitch, but I'm 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 reading the news real quick. We're gonna go, we're gonna go right into my favorite CNN. Cause you know everyone loves the CNN. Oh yeah. Experts say this is one of the most troubling examples of voter suppression that seen. In Georgia County, one voter says they were making black votes disappear. In like thin air or something? <laughs> Magic. Magic. You're a wizard, Harry. I said it before, I'll say it again. Y'all need to stop doing this to me, bro. Hope y'all like the new background. Kind of set it up a little bit better. Well, then don't get underneath my fucking chair, bro. Dogs are just... They literally just started to, like... Fart. Like, horrible. Horrible, horrible. Fucking horrible. No, let's see. What was, um, Alex, we were talking about something the other day. Oh, fuck, what was it? Who fucking knows? We were talking about a lot of shit that you pissed me off over. <laughs> the hell was we talking about today? Welfare. Huh. I don't think YouTube needs to know much. <laughs> I'd, I'd lose some fans, probably. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'd probably lose some fans. Uh, and again, everyone, there's a video in the background. You can watch it. You can ignore it. I'm live, but the game is not. It's actually supposed to be uploaded sometime, so. Look at that, sneak peek. I keep seeing all this shit about UFOs and stuff everywhere. What's it's like 2021 the year the the aliens supposed to come at us or some shit? Sure. What? Apparently there was an image of uh, a UFO like landing in fucking Hawaii. Interesting. That'd be awesome. Who fucking go? I'd be like, please take me away. Yeah, right. Really, Alex, with the clicking? Sorry. Fucking quit. <laughs> He's literally like, here. Air pollution is the worst in the world. Now a local startup is using carbon extracted from dirty air to make stylish handcrafted. What? Companies making building tiles out of polluted air. Interesting. I don't know if that's gonna work. That doesn't sound healthy. It really doesn't. <laughs> That's not healthy at all.
Hey, that's not creepy at all. A photographer secretly snaps strangers' text messages and turns them into art. What the fuck? How is that art? That's just someone talking, bro. Kinda of looks like my message is, how are you? I'm okay. And you? I'm okay too. <laughs> 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 like, how is that art? I don't understand. ABC is talking about Donald Trump. Like, what? Always talking about Donald Trump. Always got to talk about him. What? Donald Trump. Who's Donald Trump? Donald Dump. Ha, Donald Dump. Who is that guy? Who's Donald Trump? I never heard of him. Me neither. So I guess some places are opening back up in Pennsylvania. Restaurants huh. I've seen. WPXI posted it. F -f 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 finally. Oh, f -f finally. The Google software engineer says the first unit at a major tech company by and for all tech workers. Oh my god, Google is gonna turn union. It's crazy. I kind of thought they kind of were. What the hell? What the hell do you do at Google? Let's be honest. I don't know. What, like, <laughs> when you search Google, do they like hear your search results? I think most of it's probably um, like IT and like making sure everything's running right and all that. Like, I don't know. What does workers at Google do? Let me Google that. Free food? What? Free food? Oh, nice. Where do I sign up? They give them shuttles, free healthy meals, laundry and fitness facilities, 18 weeks of fully paid maternity leave, and on-site childcare and competitive pay. So, um... What? Huh. But what do you do? Uh What does what do I what do I search? What does I'm looking it up right now. They do engineering and technology, develop the products and tools of the future. So anything that I guess has to do with like Google Home or whatever. They have sales service and support. Marketing and communications, design, business strategy, finance, legal. They need it. Wait, before that, they need a better support system. 
Don't all, don't all places need a better support system? Like, stop giving me the fucking robot, dude. <laughs> stop. Please stop. Just stop. Kind of like the time I yelled at fucking Comcast when we were sitting there. And it just kept telling me, like, automated what I needed to do, what I needed. And I just finally, like, I got pissed off enough and I just yelled out, Give me a fucking person. Bro. Not even five minutes later, a person was on the phone. Huh? The little robot person said, Hold on while I get you a representative. I'm like, Thank you, Jesus. Fuck. And the first thing I said to the person was, You need to stop that robot. I asked for a representative, I don't know how many fucking times. What I need help with, your robot won't fix. So, like, damn. Huh? I, I don't get it. Like, robots don't help you. They just don't. Well, that's just my opinion, though. All support systems are fucked with that. Let's see what else we got here. Kudos to the, kudos to the support teams that actually, you know, are talking to you. I'll give EA that. They at least have people who actually talk to you. How the fuck is that possible? Ski patrol rescued a skier who slipped off a chairlift and was left dangling by her jacket at a ski, ro ski resort in Canada, New York? I mean, whatever. The resort said they have tarps on hand for these situations and that they plan on an internal investigation. How do you slip off a fucking chairlift? <laughs> I don't understand. Good question. I, I'm genuinely confused about that one. And you were dangling by your jacket, so like, I'm really confused on that one. I, Say I went skiing in like Seven Springs. If I slipped off the ski lift, I might as well just oh, hang on because I'm going for a fucking ride. Huh? There's nothing to catch you. So I, that chair lift looked the same way. I don't know how. Like, what are your friends doing? I'm gonna fucking pull my ass up, bro. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> There's there's way three other three of them on the fucking chairlift. Like what? Come on. That was weird. I mean, is it? Anything's possible. But it's just weird to me. That'd be scary. Not gonna lie. Just a tad. Just a tad bit scary. Just sitting there dangling. The breakdown. Alright, well, ABC is boring. I mean, isn't all news kind of boring? Is there any news that I missed, Alex, that like you want to talk about? I don't know. I haven't really been paying that much attention to the news, so... Yeah, the other day you just yelled at me, though. It's all over the news. I don't watch the news, so... Let's talk about our... Our new lord and savior, uh, Twisted T Man. Uh, oh my god, that's fucking hilarious! Shout, shout out to the man. <laughs> well, I can give a, I can give out a story real quick about today. I'm sure, everyone's gonna love to hear this. This is a good story. Let me see what Hunter said real quick. So, um. As some of you may or may not know, I have a crazy fucking neighbor. Huh? What? So, this is how my 2021 started. By the way, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. I don't know if I said it last time, but Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. 
Colossal is still going pretty hard with the um, some game battles and ladders. I think it's time we start looking into tournaments. So we're going to start looking into tournaments. Uh, we got a tournament on Saturday for Apex. So super excited for that. Um, so be there. We're gonna be. I'm obviously gonna be streaming it. Um. Uh, anyway. Uh. I was on the phone around nine o'clock this morning with my dad, and my uh, a goes off. My Alexa. Fuck. She heard me. She heard me, and or she said that there was someone at the door. I'm like, what the fuck? Shouldn't be no one at the door this early. So I checked my phone, and apparently it was me. Then I hear a banging on my fucking door. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> so I go downstairs, and no one's at the door. But my camera did catch someone walk by it. I'm like, what the fuck? Person's at the side of the door. I lean over the railing, and I see it is fucking... Barbara and fucking Miller. <laughs> and for some, like, for everyone who doesn't know her, she's fucking, like, I don't know how Insane. old she is. It doesn't matter how old she is. She's just fucking, she's crazy. She's dumb. She's an idiot. Uh, she was a school teacher who hit, she was an old school teacher where she used to beat kids. And she got fired because after they got rid of the law where you could beat kids, she still beat them. So she got fired. That's how fucking loopy she is. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> she was yelling at me, cussing at me, saying how my leaves destroyed her drain. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Oh, I'm laughing. I didn't give a fuck. I told her to get off my property about half a dozen times. Oh... <sighs> I ended up calling the cops, and I got some news for it coming. It's going to be good. Uh, I'm not going to say all that on YouTube or Twitch, but Jesus Christ. I'll just I'll keep you guys in the loop if you want to know everything. Um, but uh, some New Year's um, news for you. Uh, my dog Max had another seizure. This is his second one, so tomorrow he goes in to get checked up see what's going on that was a crazy fucking time I mean, shout out to um, Ethan's girlfriend for we, we probably would have heard him but then I would have been like panicking so shout out to her for seeing him so stiff and coming all over the floor <laughs> she goes upstairs after he was so excited, he was so excited with everyone around. She goes upstairs and says, um, I think he's coming all over the floor. I'm like, wait, what? This does not sound like Max at all. <laughs> so I go upstairs and here he is like real stiff. I'm like, oh shit. But I instantly knew what was going on. But hopefully he's fine. I say he's fine. I think they're going to, what is it? Did they give him a CAT scan? Even though he's a dog? Is it called a cat scan for a dog? No, it's a dog scan. It's still a cat scan, yes. Cat no, dog it's scan. a dog scan. I think it's called a cat dog scan. Oh. <laughs> Fucking cat dog scan. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming that's what they're going to have to do to figure out what the hell is wrong with him. They might have to do an MRI on him this time. I say, I don't know, I say he's going to have to be put on medicine, which worries me, but, you know, it is what it is. It happens every time a stimulus comes out. So thank you, Max. Thank you for, I mean, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. At least I know the money's in there. Last time was really scary, though. Holy shit. Because I didn't have no medicine to give them. So they gave me this, um, I don't even know what the fuck it is, Metazyme or some shit. And as soon as he has a seizure, you're supposed to, like, put 
one milliliter in his each nostril. As soon as I did that, he was like, he started coming out of it right away. I'm like, holy fuck, this shit is like a miracle worker. So hopefully they give me some more of that for him. Hopefully he just doesn't have any more. I mean, that'd just be great. So I wonder since Wade has the same dog, like from the same litter, I wonder if Red ever is going to have him. Because Wade literally has a sister to Max. Why does my dog get him? Alright, so today's podcast, we're going to be talking about some really weird shit. I almost started talking like Wade right there. Really weird shit. Really weird shit. We're going to be talking about historical figures. Do you have like one on, on mind, or are we just going to talk about any of them? Oh, we're going to talk about any of them. But I do have a couple. All right, we'll start. We'll start with you. You got a couple. Go ahead. Name your, <clears throat> name your first victim. My first victim, of course. You should, everyone should have guessed Adolf Hitler. Oh. This is this is my shocked face. I can't see your face. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I heard you go. Uh, but it didn't come through the mic. Did I have get- pushed a top. Why? Uh. So you don't hear my clicking. Oh my god. You can't just be a normal person and just talk. What a fucking weirdo. (laughs) weirdo. Hello viewers. Feel free to join in the chat. We are talking about Adolf Hitler right now. We're gonna about get blah blah blah. We're about to get started. So I'll let I'll let Ethan since this is kind of like his topic I'll let him talk about him first. Well, of course. Um, to start it off, you, you know. Oh, and if I if I don't talk for a second, it's because I have a child with me right now. So I apologize. I have a child. Not talking about your girlfriend. Thanks. <laughs> 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 but anyways so like you know everyone everyone who talks about adolf hitler they always have the same shit to say oh he was such a bad person he was so evil and like yeah he he did some pretty shitty things but he did don't (laughs) (laughs) but let's not forget the good things he did too he created the blow up doll. Let's let's start with that one. You know, I thought you were gonna say he killed a bunch of Jews. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I had to. I had Holy to go there. Shit. The Fifth Reich will rise again. For anyone that watches this, that was a joke. Pull your pants <laughs> back up. It's okay. That's, that's what we call a take joke. Food. Asshole. <laughs> I'm not racist or anything. I just. That was just a perfect opportunity for a very dark, humorous joke. All right, continue. <clears throat> Let's see. He he brought he brought Germany out of a major major depression era. <clears throat> he was actually and, really uh, intelligent too. I mean, he was really fucking smart. He was. He he was a very smart man. Yes. I mean, like, I mean, just watch any of his speeches, and that will tell you everything you need to know. Like, that he could talk. Very charismatic, yes. Oh yeah. And like, when you when you get down to the grittiness, can you really blame the man for doing? What, I mean, killing the Jews, no. But can you really blame him for wanting to start another world war against all the uh, ally powers? Because no. they because they were like. Hey, hey, let's let's put all the blame on Germany for this war and make them pay for everything. Seems about right. All right, we are also joined with um, Hunter. Um, Hunter, we're talking about historical figures today. So right now we're on the subject of Adolf Hitler. 
I was gonna say Nazis and stuff. Not Nazis and stuff. <laughs> Nazis, motherfucker. For you two instance, this is my retarded cousin. What's I up? Love him. <laughs> You're I put crayons in my nose and snort crack. <laughs> you sound like everyone that lives in Garrett County. <laughs> but the, but also we gotta like you gotta talk about the way he like rose to power too like oh yeah he was a nobody like for for everyone to understand like Hitler was very intelligent he was he literally took like Germany what did they have they didn't have um yeah what was their former government uh because Hitler don't... Hitler pretty well took it and, and like crumbled it up and threw it away. Yeah, I don't remember. He changed the law head. in there to give him absolute power for like the next so many years. I just don't remember what that was called. Like before, before he rose to power. So obviously he was a dictator. Yeah. But like before he was a like before he became a dictator, there I don't know what fucking Germany's government was. But he ended up like. Very good. Well, no, apparently not, because that's, I think that's why we have so many, um, sides now, like, why we're so strict, you know, with the Democrats and Republicans. I think that's why everything's so strict now, because they wasn't as strict with Germany, and, well, you see what happened. He pretty well just took it and ran with it. He fucked over their government pretty, pretty hateful. By just changing one little piece of it. But yeah, I mean, uh, and he also wrote a very well written book, obviously, in Comp. The Mind Comp. Or My Struggle. Mind Comp. He took care of his, I mean, his people, though. I'm not gonna lie either. But... And he did, he, I know he did, um, <laughs> Did he? Was he a soldier in World War One? Yes. Yeah. That's where he wrote Mein Kampf. That's what I thought. But like, you got you got to understand, like Hitler. More, more think of it this way, everybody. This was a kid that was being pretty well bullied his entire life. Yeah. So his he he kind of just true. rose up to be a bigger bully. Oh, yeah, his, his father, you know, he didn't support him in wanting to be an artist. And then, of course, he didn't get into the artist school that he wanted. So he's like, kill them all. He pretty well was. No, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But then his parents, his parents did die at a young age, though, did they not? I think yeah, his dad. Yeah. I think they both did. Yeah. Yeah, they both did, but like I said, his father never supported his and uh probably an poison or something. Like yeah, that. he uh he applied at uh academic academy of fine arts Vienna, but was rejected twice. Yeah, and yeah he you guys gotta like <laughs> take a pause at this video if you want, but then you go look at his artwork. His artwork was really fucking good. He actually was yeah, really he, fucking talented. talented yeah, he didn't get in the fucking school, which is shocking, but I can learn all right, hold on. I'm literally I'm gonna pull this one up. This is a water watercolor he did. There you go. You get to see it. I'm gonna fucking fuck it. I'm gonna just fucking put it on the screen for you. So you only have to like leave. Look at yeah. Like that is I could never fucking do that. I can tell you that right now. And he got rejected. How do you so, reject that piece? I don't get it. It's back then, that's why. So, Hitler's dad died in 1903 when he was 13. And then his mom, mom died, died when, 18. about 18, yeah. Yeah. I knew I knew one of them died at eighteen. I just never knew which one. Like I, I yeah, never it was remember. Definitely the mother. It's definitely the mother. Because I I I remember that because it hit me pretty hard. Cause I was thinking I think uh when I started really researching Hitler was when I was around twenty twenty one. 
And I'm like, damn, not having your parents at age 20? I couldn't imagine. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would suck, honestly. That's probably what made him go, like, insane. Too. It's Well, it said that... It said that the death of his father didn't really do a whole lot to him, but he w it said he was absolutely devastated when his mother died. Oh, yeah. it threw him over and, the edge. And his I mean, actually supported him. him. That's probably what, I mean, like, what made him do yeah, all this. Say, I mean, like, his father dying and he not caring, I understand, because like I said, his father didn't support him at all, so there's no, no reason. Mother. That's probably what put him over the edge to do all this, honestly. Well, that and nah, being probably involved, getting rejected bullied. from art school. Yeah. <laughs> like, he wasn't, like, bully-bully, but, like, his, his art is what made him. That's what made him. Well, let's see. That and his dad. His father beat him. So that's kind of what I mean by bully. Like I don't mean bully like in school. Yeah. Like yeah, when yeah. I yeah when I mean bullied I don't mean like bullied just in school. I mean like bullied in general, like by Ab life. Abused. Yeah. Like again, if you see some of the art, you just seen a watercolor. That's the only one I could find right now. But if you see his <clears throat> art and he got rejected, I just I don't. And and like, goddamn. If that pushed him to do what he did, that's, like, I'm not saying don't go start a fucking Reich and kill people. I, I, right. He's definitely, he definitely pushed himself to be better, and obviously he did. He, def he definitely showed his father, like, uh, look, what you, look what your son's doing now. How do you like me now, daddy? <laughs> But he also like during all this he 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 found a lot of cures for things too. Like what the hell? Cause didn't he he found um ways to like not really cure the common cold. <coughs> but he found like mustard gas. I know he's a inventor of that. Gas, gas. Which is actually good. Um, mustard gas is good for other things, not really gassing people, but yeah. Hmm. But all right, and that also he also kind of started like okay, this is gonna sound horrible, but he also started like a, I think I think he was kind of like the start of a revolution, like industrial revolution almost, because <clears throat> yeah, he couldn't beat his tanks. So what do you what do you, what is everyone to do? Everyone's gonna find ways to beat them. Yeah, they're just gonna keep creating until it beats it. Yeah, they're they're gonna sit there. They're gonna sit there and be like, all right, we need to make something that's gonna beat them. Then they made better guns. They made better. Like they just started making things better so we can beat Germany. Yeah, honestly, I think <clears throat> how to put it. <sighs> Great. I'm trying to think. That's uh, enough. Now let's see what else he. <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like he did that, and people all around were like, "Can't beat his tanks and all this," so they just kept building up until they found something to destroy his tanks. Well, they had to find a weak spot, but yeah, there's always a weak spot in some creation. <laughs> Can I also just say another thing that Hitler did? Like, it's going to sound really bad, but it, it did help us as a future generation. He did, in the concentration camps, they did a lot of medical experiments that help us now. Like, we know things you know because of that. 
This is true. Didn't I say that? So I got a really dumb question. Oh, maybe. But like, like, I didn't say he created, like, a cure for the common cold. But I was saying like how, like, like he made mustard gas. But yeah. mustard gas is good for like. Hold on, let me just look it up. So I got a question. So, who was the one that did the drill in the skull? What do you mean? Like where they what? drill in between your eye, like put a. Oh, like like a, like yeah. a lobotomy. Yes. That was. Uh, oh, they've they've done that for ages. Yeah, so that. That was, that was pre Hitler. <laughs> yeah, and then. I can't remember which psychologist <laughs> took it and made it more refined, so it wouldn't be like in between your eyes, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah right here. Then they they turn it to where they did it between the eyes, and they start doing it in the side of your skull. Yes, yes. That's what I thought. So a derivative of mustard gas became a new form of cancer treatment. Huh. huh. See, I also thought it was used for something else. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'll look it up too. Historically, it was also able to use treatment for skin condition called psoriasis. Hmm, interesting. Do I want to trust the CDC though? <laughs> I... Huh? Well, wow. see, it's called sulfur mustard. Which, that makes sense, because sulfur is disgusting. Hey, it says here that, uh, I don't know if we already said this, but in World War II, two dozen medical researchers transfer or transform mustard against into, uh, agents into cancer chemotherapy. Chemotherapy. In the 1940s, sulfur, oh. sulfur mustard... Commonly called mustard gas and nitrogen mustard, it uh, became a new form of cancer treatment. Ha this question is: How did Hitler happen? How happened? Apparently, another thing that I totally forgot about until I just looked up his parents. Apparently, they were first cousins. So I don't necessarily think that helped him. This says, wait a minute, this is not, this is something I didn't know. What? What? <laughs> oh. What's up? Oh. I did not know this. Oh no. We still drive Hitler's vehicles. Okay. He what made vehicle? Volkswagens. Oh, Did he really? That's German, so. Yeah. On May 28, 1937, the government of Germany, then <clears throat> under the control of Adolf Hitler of the National Societist Nazi Party, forms a new state owned automobile <clears throat> company, then known <clears throat> as. I'm not even going to speak German. But there's like Gelschak. Zerg, Vulcan, V, Dash, Dushin, Volkswagens. <laughs> Go boom! Oh. <clears throat> um, wasn't, uh... So it was, it was kind of Hitler's thing, but also not, because it says, with many of the above projects still in development or early stages of production, Adolf became Im involved. Okay. So, you, yes, you can say he was part of it. So, I got a question for you guys. <clears throat> so, wasn't it, was it Hitler a Jew? His mother. No, his art teacher was. I would say, because when I learned, they told me that Hitler was a Jew, but he was a leader. He was the leader of Germany. I think his mother was. Th there's speculation that his mother might have been of Jewish descent. <clears throat> Because, yeah, because that's, that's what I, whenever I was in school, they taught me, they were like, something about Hitler being a Jew, and, because that confused me, because I was like, 
how is he a Jew whenever they killed Jews, but he was the leader of Germany? So, like, that had me confused. <clears throat> His art teacher for sure was a Jew, though. That's why like, he hated we... fucking Jews. Wait, what'd you say? Probably why he hated Jews. Art was his huge, like, huge art was his, Yeah, art was his passion. That's true. That's probably what set him to it. Like, oh, you can't do art. Well, I'm, I'm going to kill people. I'm trying to find out now. what he created, but it, uh, it just won't show me. So what even... What even caused them to start the war, the war versus Germany versus Jews? Germany versus Jews. <laughs> right, it's called genocide. It wasn't really a war. That was genocide. Because no. the what, uh, Jewish what, people like, didn't really fight back. I never, I never really learned like what caused it to happen. So one reason was because Hitler felt like Germany lost World War One. Well, I don't want to say on purpose, I mean... but <laughs> he felt like they could have done better in the war. Uh, okay. So he kind of got pissed off about that. He was also a soldier in World War One, so I could see where he would get pissed off over that. But I don't feel like that's the sole reason. There was other factors that led up to it. Again, I think being bullied and yeah, yeah abused and all that. And it, I think his dad wanted to go into like uh, kind of like politics. So, well, he sure but, did. Um, yeah, I, I know this. I know this is off topic, but I was going to say something about Alcatraz because that has totally nothing to do with this. What do you want to talk about Alcatraz for? You know, I was wondering. I learned a little bit about it, but not much to know of how it began. And It was just a prison. Yeah, I, I don't know if it like began because of a war type thing where they captured and like, tortured or... You know what I mean? You said you learned a little bit about it. What did you <laughs> learn about it? That's that's the real that's the real question here. I, they didn't teach me enough. Or are you just didn't pay attention? Or you just didn't pay attention? I, I, I'm actually I was really good in history class yeah same i got straight a's yeah same but yeah like, okay you get straight a's yeah okay in history class i did but like any other class i did not right i see moving forward part <clears throat> it was just a federal prison it was... yeah there really wasn't anything i mean alcatraz was only popular because al capone was there and it was the most inescapable prison out there, except for those three guys that nobody knows what happened to them. <laughs> like it has, it has its like military fortification, but that was it was just. I don't think it was just made for military people. Like it, it was a federal prison. It was considered a federal prison. Yeah. But with like, what was it? I don't even know when it was built. I want to say like the. Probably the. Uh, hold on. The black and white pictures, I'd say almost. It had to be like the 30s, right? 40s? I think, yeah. Like 40s. I mean, that could be way off, though. It The small island was developed with facilities for a lighthouse, a military fortification, a military prison, and a federal prison from 1934 until 1936. So, 1934. Six, 63, sorry. My, yeah. 34 to 63. So, I mean, I, uh, you could say the same thing about West Virginia State Penitentiary. They had... Military like fortification, concrete walls is considered <clears throat> military fortification. That's why I knew Alcatraz has to be close to being military, like concrete cylinders, you know, shit like that. 
Yeah. But West Virginia State Pen- Pen- Oh my God, West Virginia Penitentiary is not. I mean, it it has some pretty crazy people like Charles Manson. Yeah. But like Alcatraz was, it was made for the harder criminals because yeah. you could yeah. not escape it, and if you, you did, you had to fucking fight off the water. And actually, the water was, you know, during the winter months, it's actually very cold over there. Yeah, the absolutely. Wind, the wind makes it. You could literally die before you make it to shore because of how cold it was. <clears throat> All right, what's our next person we're going to talk about? Yeah, who's next? Hunter, you just brought up a good point, though. Maybe we'll write that down in the Discord. Yes. Talk about some Alcatraz. Ooh, that would be yeah, fun. Yeah. I've always you know, like had interest in going there. You know, you know who's a good a good figure to talk about. Oh, boy. oh yeah. Ethan. Huh. Ethan, he he's he's pretty good to talk about. Oh yeah. <laughs> so let's get a good one here. Bring him on. Uh, Ho Chi Minh. <sighs> Wait, who? Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh. I'm gonna have to look him up. He was the president of Northern Vietnam during the Vietnam War. He's the reason communism happened in Vietnam. Huh. So, little backstory. Little backstory about Ho Chi Minh. He looks kind of um, sexy, not gonna lie. <clears throat> he Holy absolutely God. despised the fact that the French were in Vietnam, which I totally get. So, what he started to do, I believe, this is what he started to do. Um, he started to get little villages to start um, going against the French because he wanted to get, push the French out of uh, Vietnam. So, pr- pretty much, he was a very anti uh, colonialism. Colonial. He wanted an independent uh, Vietnam. But there was just one problem. Oh, boy. Um, it wasn't him that was the problem. <coughs> it was the other countries that were the problem. Because he wanted to get support from America... Because, you know, obviously, if he got support from America, he's most likely going to get what he wants. <clears throat> yeah. But that didn't happen. I think he came over here for a little bit. I don't recall if he did or not, but yeah. So, all because of that, next thing you know, China rises to power. And communism becomes a thing. So he's, he starts seeing this, and then China's like, hey, we'll help you. So guess what happens there? <laughs> communism. And well, pretty much what I, the point I'm trying to make is like, this is going back to how Adolf Hitler was. Like, can you really blame the man for doing what he did? No. Uh, no. Because obviously talking wasn't going to do anything. Because he tried. <laughs> and he was a very... He had very... Uh, mm, he went well, to Britain. Know. He also tried Britain. Oh, yeah, he did. Yep. He actually was in Harlem, New York, in Boston. Oh, yeah. A baker at a Parker House Hotel. Huh. And worked uh, as a line manager at General Motors. <clears throat> but see, the reason I said I don't, I think, for us, I don't think 
we should even got involved. Nah. Should have just because no one wanted to go there. No one wanted oh, to yeah. go to Vietnam. Not even well, not even the soldiers. Exactly. Well, I think I think the problem was is it was France and like. Yeah, we're we're up their asses when we need yep, to be up China's it. asses. Yeah. So it's bound to happen. So maybe he made the mistake of going to ask for help. Maybe. And that's when the United States got their big fat nose involved. Like, hey, okay, well, Frank is over there. Because, <clears throat> like I said, no, none of the soldiers that I've ever talked to that was in Vietnam ever wanted to go. Exactly. And the stories they tell me, not a chance I'd want to be an officer. That's for goddamn sure. Hmm. Hey, let's shoot our commanding officer, guys. And it, like, no one wanted to take the position, but, you know, they just keep, it's like a fucking assembly line of people. They just kept shoving people in front. Yeah. Cause I, I did. I asked him. I asked the guy that I work with. I'm not going to give out any names, but I asked him. He just started laughing at me. He says, well... <coughs> it says when an M16 entry wound, single shot in the back from so many yards, you should see the exit wound, he said, out of <laughs> the chest. He said, so yeah, people got shot in the back. Ouch. That's where shotgunning was a thing. Like, weed. Not like shotgunning a beer. Ah! I, was sitting, I was sitting there like, shotgun. What they did, um, they put the weed in the chamber and they light it like a bong, close the chamber, and well, where's the smoke go? Down the barrel. You suck on the barrel. Smoke comes up. You open up the barrel, clear it out. That's how they smoke tweet over there. And a lot of other disgusting things. Like fucking women. Fun fact! There's oh, a boy. fucking disease that Americans got that made them actually get exiled because they didn't want it in... Um, America. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And it apparently made your junk fall off. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is that called? <clears throat> they would, like, again, they would, like, fuck the women over there, or rape the women over there, the American soldiers. Of all ages. It didn't matter, apparently, from what I've heard. Yeah. Some of them did it for money. Some of them didn't. Some of them was forced. I just thought of fucking South Park. Oh my lord. Oh, it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like Man, now I'm curious of what that disease is. I wonder, I wonder what it is. <coughs> Agent Orange, we all know about that shit. <laughs> Damn, I really don't know what the hell. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'll find it one day and you guys are gonna laugh because it's. I found it one day. Great. Please, that's enough.
Ho Chi Mo. Ho Chi Min. Ho Chi Min. Hmm? Sound like if I said like, oh shit, man. Ho oh, shit, man. Hmm? <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. That's not even right. Okay. Mm I'm about to read more on this guy. Yeah, I'll um if you want to watch a good documentary, uh there's a Ken Burns documentary about the Vietnam War. I like Ken Burns because he gets all sides. He doesn't just get, you know, one side. It's not one side. He talks to everyone in it. <clears throat> There'll be people who from the uh, uh, Viet Cong that he talks to. Alex, you should pick a woman we talk about. Hmm? And not Marilyn okay. Monroe. Or Julia Roberts. Um, Rosa Parks. <laughs> Rosa Parks. <laughs> Oh, nah, she never did anything good for this country. Yeah, she's Rosa a Rosa Parks her car? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, give, give me a, a little bit, unless someone else can think of one, give me a moment to think of one. Alfred Hitchcock. Elvis Presley. Fidel Castro. Hey, I've got one. If we're gonna talk oh, about Jesus. if we're if we're gonna talk about controversial like women. How about let's talk about Eve. Eve. The original sinner. Fuck that bitch. The rapper? Oh <clears throat> my god. I was just saying. Eve the rapper? It's a woman. <clears throat> I was thinking about like the first feminist. Who do you think? Okay, what's your definition of the first feminist? I don't know. I thought you would know. Sus. Here's the issue, though. Unless we're talking, okay, first wave feminism or just feminism? What the fuck is first wave feminism? That's first new to wave, me. First, okay. Apparently, first wave feminism is like when it really started to take off. But there have been people in history. That were feminists. They just there it wasn't a word, I guess you could say. Like these are talking about first wave feminism was when women got the right to vote and after that. That's first wave feminism. Do so do you want that or do you wanna or do you just want overall? Right, I didn't know there's a whole fucking like goddamn paid in history for this shit. Because first wave feminism, what the hell? I'm sorry, that just cracks me up. I mean, I, I kind of understand like why they named it something different. Why don't Why don't we talk about Judith Sargent Murray? Who? Who? American advocate for women's rights, essay writer, playwright, poet, and letter writer. What's 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 the name again? Judith Murray. Oh, here we go. She wrote an essay on on the equality of sexes. Okay. Let's see. Damn, yeah. See, like, this would be... Whoa! She's so old, the book was purchased by prominent figures as George Washington, John Adams, Henry Knox, and Mercy War Warren. Yeah. Um God the, only reason, damn. the only reason I ask about that, like about do you want like first wave is because um I know y'all are gonna love me for bringing up Hamilton, but Aaron Burr, who shot Hamilton, was actually really into women's rights. Like he wanted women to have the same rights. So like that's why I was like, Well, do you want like new age feminism or do you want you said women's rights a joke? Is that what you just said? No. Well, I was laughing at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Again, YouTube, it's just a fucking joke. 
<sighs> huh, well, that's interesting. I didn't know she was... I didn't, I, apparently she was a big person in the movement. Yeah. There's a lot of women in here. From like all over. I'm Sweden, Switzerland, Russia, Norway. <laughs> this is like a world thing. Nobody likes women, I guess. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn. Bro, I literally by country. Here's the countries. Australia, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Russia, Sweden, Switzerland, United Kingdom, United States. Those are all who had big women that had to, like, march. Canada's even in here. Japan. Spain. Holy fuck, bro. I guess no one really liked fucking... Two different fights. Holy fuck! Yeah, apparently the black women had it worse, obviously. Fighting for two isms, racism and sexism. <clears throat> okay, this is totally off topic, but did you know the they made a second Titanic and it is twice the size of the first one? Yes. And it's set to sail next year. Yep. 2022. Right, that's old news. Well, I just seen it kind of come across. I don't know. If the, uh... She was like... I'm sorry. 2018, my guy. Well, I know <laughs> about it. I just never really talked about it. I think it's cool that it's... I mean, twice like, it hit, it hit bigger in 2018 because it's getting closer to the date. Um, yeah. Obviously, it took a couple of years to fucking make Alex. Oh, it, it's gonna take a while to make something like that fucking huge. Because the way they're telling, the way they said it, they want to make it bigger that time. This time, so it just plows through the fucking the iceberg. <laughs> yeah, they're like instead of hitting and going to the bottom of the ocean, Ooh, they want to they want to hit and go right through. <laughs> they're like, we ain't sinking this time. <laughs> All right, Hunter, do you got a person you want to talk about? So I'm trying to think of, um, do, 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 do. I have, the, I'm, I'm going to type it in. I know what he's going to say. Anyone. Not so modern, though. Not like Donald Trump. I'm not talking well, about well, no, the, the like, fucking yeah. Loompa. I've got one. I was going to do, uh... I I think you guys are. I think Chris will enjoy it. Oh fuck me! Because he seems man. he seems to have a very strong opinion about the man. I was gonna say uh, Teddy Roosevelt. I brought him up earlier. Holy shit! All right, Alex. What was yours gonna? What was you thinking? Alexander Hamilton. All right, we'll go with Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt. For people that don't know, he was the 26th president of the United States. Because everyone's gonna be like, well, who the fuck is that guy? Take the Monopoly man and give him another islands. Yeah, yes, Teddy Roosevelt. Roosevelt. I say Roosevelt just because it sounds funny. Is Ethan still with us? Oh, he's muted. He might be having intercourse. I was like, wait, I'm not on a Be Right Back screen. 
That's just a video in the background. Jesus Christ, dude. Did you know Teddy Roosevelt was sickly as a kid and had asthma? I see that. Yeah. And he grew out of it. Yeah. Yeah, because that's when they found out that they can grow out of asthma. I did know that. He was homeschooled. In the I also want to... He was homeschooled. <laughs> he was homeschooled. He went to Harvard College. And he wrote a book, the novel war or naval war of eighteen or eighteen twelve. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was in. Was he in the navy or was he? Yeah, I think he was in the navy. Well, uh, see, his his wife and his mother both died. In the... Uh, his wife and mother both died of rapid something. And... He was an assistant secure or hold on. Yeah, he was in the Navy. And he, he made something big. But he resigned from the post to lead the Rough Riders during his Spanish American War, returning a war hero. Spanish he American went, War, Panama. Yeah. Did he? He made. Did he make the canal? Uh, I know one of the presidents made the canal, but I don't know if it was him. The he was elected. Uh, let me see. He was elected governor of New York in nineteen or eighteen ninety eight after Vice President Garrett Harper Harbert died in eighteen ninety nine in New York State party line. Events McKinley to accept Roosevelt as running mate in night or the 1900 election. Um, Roosevelt took office as vice president in March 1901 at age 42. After the uh, he remains the youngest person to become the president of the United States. Firelighter is an actually decent president. Roosevelt, Roosevelt was a leader of the progressive movement, and he. Sounds like he's reading an essay. Yeah, I'm gonna get down on it. He established uh, national parks, forests. That's he, expanded, what it was. he expanded the navy and sent sent the Great White Fleet to a world tour to project the United States naval power around the globe. Uh successfully. So he made national parks in. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. I know he. I know he made something. I just didn't know what it was. Like something big. Yeah, the national parks. He. Yeah. I know one of them made the uh, Panama Canal. I don't know. I guess it's that was now. that was that that was Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, it was. Yeah. So, I don't know who it was. I just know some one of the big presidents. I like. So nineteen or nineteen twelve, he let me look ran. Him up. He, he ran for the president uh, presidential election and won it. Uh. Oh wait, hold up. No, no, no. Woodrow Wilson won in 1912 the president election. Uh, and I bet you, I bet you he's stoned right now. Who? Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> I bet you he's stoned right now. <laughs> Two year expansion <laughs> to Amazon basin where he nearly died of a tropical disease during World War One. I. I guess no one understands that. No. Um. <clears throat> oh, Mount Rushmore. I'm gonna say I bet you he's stoned right now. I had to think about that. Mount Rushmore, man. What the hell? He. Oh, he's got a Medal of Honor. I did not know that. 
he volunteered to run France army, but was rejected. Philanthropist? Philanthropist? What the hell is that? Philanthropist? Philanth philanthropist. What the hell is that? That means that, like, um, let's say, for instance, Jeff Bezos, like, okay, his ex-wife, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife donated it last year, donated, like, $14 million to food banks and stuff. That's philanthropy. It's when you donate mm. what you can, I guess. He found the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Well, that's cool. And has been especially active in mobilizing support for the Union during the Civil War. Even though his in-laws included Confederate leaders. Wow. I don't know. Six-year-old Roosevelt witnessed a funeral of Abe Lincoln. Hmm. From his grandfather's mansion in Union Square, New York City. He was photographed in the window along with his brother. Whoa. That's crazy. I did not know that. So you got to see uh you got to see Abe Lincoln in person. That shit crazy. He was a uh, runner-up in the Harvard boxing tournament. So he's a boxer. <coughs> you don't want to go uh, fucking toe-to-toe -to -toe with that old fucking boy. Don't tell the Logan brothers. They'll challenge him. But we'll challenge this dead fucker. <laughs> the problem they is... Probably, they probably still lose. Yeah, I'm going to say he, they still lose. And they would still never get their head on the fucking Mount Rushmore. So, now here's the thing. Everyone says that Mount Rushmore, the, every one of them had, like, dark secrets. So what was Roosevelt's dark secret? Oh, well, don't, wor don't worry. I found it. Well, he, had, he had very well-developed and racist views towards both Indians and blacks. He regarded Indians as savages. He respected them because they were ardent warriors, but he expected that they would be eliminated, exterminated from America in contests with the white men who were settling. And then it says, where is it? Hey, Theodore. He was, he was a white supremacist, but he was a fierce opponent of slavery. He regarded slavery as a sin visited upon America by aristocratic, aristocratic Englishmen who came close to ruining the experiment of America by placing people of African descent on his glorious continent. Oh, uh, it says, uh, hold up. And I mean, depending on who you ask, the Panama Canal, some people say that that wasn't a smart move, and I, I don't know. Well, I never said it. Well, I just knew uh, one of them did it. Theodore Roosevelt, right. Theodore Roosevelt invited an African American, uh, something, something, hold up. Booker T. Washington to dine with him and his family. He was the first president ever to. He was the first president to have a black man walk in the White House. Interesting. Except that, hold on. Oh yeah, Booker T, oh wait. He did a lot of shit. See, the issue with what Hunter just said, though, is that there were black slaves in the White House, so... Yeah, but I think he meant, like... He was the first one to, like, introduce black people to the White House. Like... Not as break... slaves, though. Yeah. 
Like, he dined in with one like, of them. come on, come on, eat with me, boy. Yeah, type thing. Let me show you I'm not racist, so I can become president again. <laughs> I knew he had, I knew he, I knew he had some racist flaws, I know that, because everyone on the, on Mount Rushmore, but at the same time, they did great things, so it's like, take the good with the bad, you know, Yeah. as much as I hate to say that, it's kind of like, the Jews don't fucking look at Germany, um, the way everyone else does. Abraham Lincoln actually invited the first black man to the White House. Really? Yes. Fred Le Fre uh, Frederick Douglass. Did, did, was yeah, it yeah, yeah. No, it was Frederick Douglass. Frederick okay, Douglass so was a... Um, he was a former slave, but he was free at this point. Yeah, Frederick Douglass was... I, I, do, I do remember that. He's a bald-headed man. Ain't he? Uh, he's not... Like yeah, yeah. Well, he's got, like, in some of the pictures, he's got, like, the crazy hair. Yeah. Like, think of a black Einstein in a way. Yes. That's yes. what he reminds me of, is, like, a black Einstein. And Theodore Roosevelt was, like, a cowboy, by the way. Yes, he was. Yeah. I do remember that. And the only reason, and this is, yeah, y'all can laugh at me, but this is going crazy as fuck. Y'all can laugh at me for this, but, uh, it's not a museum. I seen yeah. Theodore Roosevelt on the horse. I'm like, yo, what? He's a cowboy? So I looked him up. Uh, he did. He went out. He went hunting out west. Yeah, he did. He loved it. New York at age 60 he is burned in Young's Memorial Cemetery in Oster Bay Cove. Oh, Roosevelt died of putter. Pulmonary or something. A uh, pulmonary embolism. Yeah, and asleep uh, on January sixth, nineteen nine, nineteen nineteen. Hmm. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, it was a pulmonary embolism. It was a blood clot. That would suck, dude. Just like go to sleep one night and not wake up. His last words were pretty. Uh... The uh, make sure you turn the light off or whatever. Put please put out that light, James. Famous quote. That's actually kind of badass for a final quote. Like, kind of silly, but... Yeah, I remember that. I remember his last... Well, I didn't remember, like, word for word. I just remember his last words were... Nothing ever anyone would ever expect. I knew it had something to do with light. I just didn't know what... Theodore Roosevelt was a good man. No one can say otherwise to me. See, the, the thing is, you're always going to have... You're always going to disagree with certain things, but there's always yeah. things that you can agree with. Yeah. Like, the mental Mount Rushmore, a lot of people can sit there and say, you know, they did some horrible things, they had some horrible ideas... But at the end of the day, look where we're at. Look how far we came. Look how far they came. I mean, you can have horrible ideas, but then a change of heart. Yeah. Again, Jews do not look down on, on Germany. No, they don't. They don't. <clears throat> They look at it as if you're not doing they, that shit again, motherfucker. Yeah, they they understand that they can't they can't continue to blame the entirety. They can still blame individuals, but not the entirety of And we are an hour and nineteen in, so we're gonna have to Have to what? I ain't done podcasting, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck, we ain't. I can't have my video too long. 
This goes on YouTube. You know, if you join us every Monday. Yeah, I know. I want to try to then. It's like, I do enjoy this. I think next week. See, I want to do a cryptid one sometime soon. I think next week we can talk about. Let's talk about some fucking Alcatraz shit. I was going to say Alcatraz. And like. We should, we need to do one, Alex, where we do uh where we did last year, where we just kind of like research as we go. Yeah, that was. I think uh, I think Ethan I think Ethan mentioned that the other day when we was talking. Those are fun because you like I don't know anything about it, so I learn as we go. Kind of like Him Jong Kyung Chin Chim Chum. Yeah. He, he showed me. Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh. How would you mean? <laughs> How would you mean? Well, here I found it's a uh, uh, fifty ideas to research. So I mean, all right, we'll just put them in the podcast. Hunter on Discord, there's a podcast uh, chat. It's called Pod Podcast Suggestion Hub. Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> Ho Chi Minh, or you could just look up the Vietnam War. He'll come up. Yeah, where's it at? It's in General. No, it's in uh, oh. Wolf Den. It's in. It's underneath mine. Wolf Den. Podcast. Jack. Yep. Um. Just put ideas in here. Okay. Uh. Let's see here. And if you don't know what a cryptid is, I'll go ahead and give you a cryptid. It's like Bigfoot, uh, long tail uh, monster. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mothman. Uh, we do one every year, so we get should. Ready. Uh, I know Nana wants to be part of it, so I want to make sure he's ready for it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll definitely be into that because last year we did Mothman. Um, Mothman, we did the Warwick and Shug. I don't know, it's the one that Ethan did. Warwick and, yeah, it was fucking wild. Um. I did um, Skinwalkers and <sighs> Wendigos. This year, I'm just going to do a regular Nessie one. So, But cryptids get really fun to talk about. But this has to be the end of the podcast, everyone. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, everyone, for who stood by and watched this entire thing. Um, they're getting better, I believe. We're getting better topics. We're getting better to talk about. Uh, you guys aren't completely bored. You can watch the background. Um, if you're curious of what game we were playing, I was playing with my mom in this one. Hopefully, I can fucking edit some videos sometime. I've been super busy. Kind of. Kind of. I've been sleeping a lot because my schedule's all fucked up. But, you know, I'm getting it fixed. I bet it works. Um, so. But Hunter, uh, he joined us this time. Hopefully, he joins us next time at nine yeah. o'clock. Not so I late. Should, I was gonna say I should be, should be good next time because I've just been working. So, but this is your Mondays with Murdoch every <coughs> Monday at nine. And I think the next uh, next podcast we're gonna be talking about some Alcatraz and some other things. So I'm super excited for that. So I hope you guys join us, and um, I'll see you next Monday. Peace out, guys.